No! Hey! Randall should be the one laying there. Not your brother. Pete, if you're sure about this... Don't worry. I've got this. They had some supplies just sitting out and Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. Michonne, what is it? Guess that means the dance is over. Your funeral. Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. Not looking forward to that. Water's gonna be an ice bath. Really, you come after me? You're one of us now. And I can't be the only brains around here. Whoa. Freezing my ass off. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. Go on. You'll be glad you did. <coughs> God damn, Oak. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Uh, you sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. Now, okay? I'm warning you. <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> I despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit, isn't it? How long does it take? What, to warm to them? I'd say it takes uh, one year, three weeks, and six days. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. You did the right thing. And it got my brother killed. The right thing can kiss my ass. A few weeks later, I came across Pete, ways up the coast. 
He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions, didn't turn me away, just welcomed me in. Pete's a good goddamn egg in a rotten world. I don't always get Pete, but I'm glad people like him still exist. I'll drink to that. Well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Besides, none of us can remember the rules. So, it'd be the most uh, unique game of Go Fish you've ever played. Yeah. Do me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. Hey there, Michonne. Sam, I knew you couldn't stay away. Don't fucking talk to me. <laughs> Sam, stop! A little help here? Please, I need a hand! What the? Let go of me! Just trying to help. We can't have this guy more damaged than he already is. She could have killed him. Sam clearly needed it. Feel better? Not until he's dead. When I get out of here, I'll do a lot more than break a few of your ribs. Ugh. Fuck. <laughs> What's funny here is you think me and my sister are the bad ones. But you're the one burned down our home. Forced our people on the shore to be easy pickings for the walkers. Families, kids, never did shit to you. Didn't stop to think about all the lives you were screwing up. All the shit they had to leave behind. Probably burned beyond recognition now. You did that. That was an accident. Tell that to the parents who lost their kids. You're done talking. You're the one who should be dead. Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I, I didn't mean he ruined everything. He killed... I know, I know. You don't know. Wait. You hear that? Michonne, it's Pete. Please pick up. Something's happened. I don't have much time. Oh, your buddy misses you. Cute. We need to talk. I'm right here. Thank God. There's something you have to know. Norman and her people, they... They, they have the crew. Sadiq, Oak, Humberto. Don't worry, they're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? Look, you don't owe us anything. I just want to keep them safe. That's my deal, Michonne. Got it? I understand. That's what I like to hear. We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us. Shit. So, 
So, what do you think's gonna happen next? <laughs> <laughs> what? There's something on my face. The bruises aren't so bad. Right? I'm pretty sure she'll notice the fingers. Shut up! Maybe it won't matter. Keep on hoping if you want. That bag will help cover his injuries. Some of them, at least. Might be enough to stall her. And then what? The minute you hand him over, she's gonna take that bag off his head. What then? <laughs> you all have no idea what you're in for. Ugh. He's right. Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Sure, you kept him alive, but we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. She knows where we are now. Hiding isn't an option. So let's just go. Stop. Where do you propose we go? I don't know. Does it matter? Anywhere would be better than here. I can't fucking listen to this. What? Sam, come back here. Sam! Sam, where are you taking him? God damn it. Sam, stop. Maybe you're all ready to walk away, but I'm not just gonna leave him like this. <laughs> we couldn't give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I. I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. That's all I can give him. I understand. He should be buried with your mom. But we can't focus on that right now. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking My that... mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg, if you want to leave, go ahead, but I'm not coming with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. I'm not just going to abandon it. So what happens when Norma comes? We fight with everything we have. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. I know it's stupid, 
But I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. I, I was just wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't going to shoot it. Just. And how does it feel? It's, it's heavy. Empty. Can I help? I want to do something. Sure, go ahead. Those slide in there. Round side forward. How could they just die like that? Greg and Dad. I, I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? You have to be smart. That's how you survive. My dad was the smartest guy I knew. That didn't save him. The guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta, I mean, the things he said. The way he was laughing about dad. He can't get away with it. You want to hurt him, don't you? Careful. Feelings like that can get you in trouble. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If, if she, they can't hurt her too. You have to stop them. Your sister's tough. I wouldn't worry about her too much. Here. I, I don't know if I'm ready, you know, to have one. Take this to your sister. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. Wish it didn't always come to this. This must be how they reinforce the gate. Hope it keeps Norma out. Nearly empty. Right behind you. Hey, Sam. Hey. Thanks for before. I, uh, I couldn't have moved it myself. Something you need? I ran into James inside. Should really go talk to him. I, I know. I just, I know nothing I say is gonna make it any better. 
Paige thinks we're not safe here. Now we need to move on. But she's trying to convince you to leave too. She's wanted out of here for a while. I guess she's found her chance. I'm not leaving without you. I wouldn't blame you if you did. You're here to get your people back and that's fine. None of this is your mess. It's just so much of this place is my dad. It's all of us. He worked his way up from nothing. Took a job cleaning houses, paid his way through law school. When he bought this house, it was, it was proof that he'd made a better life for us. We grew up here. I, maybe I'm crazy, but I can't let that all be for nothing. He was so proud of what he built. This place kept us safe. We were happy here. I get it. The world tries to take everything you love. You have to hang on to what's important. I can't lose anything else. I should get back to work. Worked better than I thought. Looks like they were ready for anything. Almost anything. What a mess. Could have been a lot worse. Wow, she's been all over the world. Those days are long gone now. It's okay. Sam's passport. This must be her mother, Sophia Fairbanks. Almost out of space in these. Sam's mom wrote this. Took Sam to see the Eiffel Tower. I don't think she cared much for it, but we found a little shop on the way back and ate about 50 macarons each. I blame the pregnancy. Sam blames our shared sweet tooth. At least Sam has some happy memories to hold on to. Is that music? Can I come in? I like that. It's pretty. My dad gave it to me, so I wouldn't have to hear the things out there. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Looks pretty sturdy. I bet it's kept you nice and safe for a long time. 
That's good. It has to. Because of them. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise. Even at night. I'll tell you a secret. They scare me too sometimes. Really? But my dad's not scared of them. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Where is my dad? He can't come right now. I want to wait here for my dad. Alex. I want my dad. I just I want my dad. I want Greg back. I want everything to go back to the way it was. <laughs> Daddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't bring your brother home. When Greg... When he... Did he become one of them? It, it, it's what happens, right? He did, didn't he? No. Your brother didn't become one of them. Greg is still Greg. Is that what's going to happen to me? Am I going to die and change into one too? <laughs> no. I'm going to protect you. Nothing out there will hurt you. <sighs> Thanks. Two and three checked in. Coming up on the road now. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. Thanks for letting me see your fortress. I should leave him alone. I can't see James Fairbanks, Alex Fairbanks. No more see right through this. Can't get enough, huh? You know, my hands hurt a little bit. You got any ointment lying around? <laughs> Yeah, well, when Norma gets here, she'll bust down that little gate of yours. And tune you up good. Just march on in. Majestic as fuck. You can still call her off. Get her to let my friends go. I'd rather eat shit out of a dead dog's ass. Don't be a stranger. Sam's mom. Looks like she was pretty sick. Not gonna be able to look at that the same way again. James and Alex. 
Wonder how they'll get through all this. Old record player. Or Greg. John, take care of our children and take care of yourself. I'm sorry. I know that doesn't help or explain anything, but it's true. I can't stand watching you and the kids suffer, knowing what's going to happen to me and what I'll become. Better to spare you that pain I love you more than anything. Sophie. They look really happy together. Hey, I didn't hear you come in. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or do you still think digging a hole is a good use of Sam's time? I've never seen her like this. She's... she's not thinking. Give her some space, okay? She's grieving. I know. And I wish I could give her that, but Norma's not gonna wait for her to get over her dad's death. The shitstorm's coming whether we're ready for it or not. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway, same as you. That's one thing we got in common. Squatters in other people's lives. What do you mean, same as me? I know what it's like running from whatever. I spent most of my life doing that. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn, though. I just hope it doesn't get her killed this time. Then stay. Sam needs you. 
You're gonna regret it if you leave, trust me. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but I don't know if I can do the same for them. Here. Sean, I'm uh, looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. He should be there for this. Alex asked about his father. I didn't know what to tell him. I'll, uh, I'll go talk to him. You'll find him in his fortress. I'll meet you outside. Sam, you okay? Greg and Dad, I just, I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? I don't know. Just say what he meant to you. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you a moment. look a little, well, like you're losing it a little bit. Sorry. Just remembering my kids. Did they, you know? I don't know. I wasn't with them. I don't know what happened to my family either. I thought about joining them, but it felt weird i mean i live here but i'm still not family you know they treat me like i am but i know that's not true family is different these days families aren't the people you're born to it's the people you stay with the people who care about you pete's crew they're a family i guess that's true I decided to stay for Sam. Don't get cocky. It had nothing to do with what you said. Uh-huh. Miss Jones? She's here! <sighs> I thought we had more time. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Sam! Just go upstairs with your brother, okay? I need you to hide until I come get you. Uh, what, what's gonna happen? He gonna hurt us? Y you'll stop them, right? Right? Just get upstairs. 
Whatever happens, I'll protect you. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. I can get a clear shot of the front gate from upstairs. I'll cover you. If I can. I hope it doesn't come to that. This is worst case scenario, right? Thank you. Don't thank me yet. Paige, if anything goes wrong, I need you to take care of James and Alex. Don't talk like that. Paige, please. Sam, you know I'll... Grab Randall and meet us outside. Mm. Uh. Mm. Mm. Uh. It's quiet out there. You ready for this? Getting your crew back? It's not gonna be easy. We just have to be careful not to provoke her. I don't want this to turn into a fight. Hopefully Norma feels that way too. What's going on? I had my people hang back a bit. I wanted to talk first. Just us. Clear the air a little. Just hear her out, Michonne. I don't trust her. Okay, start talking. Hey, that is what I'm doing. I didn't come here to fight. See? I can be reasonable. Thought you can get rid of me, huh? Michonne. Don't get used to it. Listen, Monroe is gone. Sunk down in the water like everything I built. You and I, we've each taken from the other. All I want now is my brother back. That's all. And I'll leave you be. You buying any of this? He's right here. <laughs> Randall! You okay? Just hang on. I got gotcha. you. One good turn. Any minute now. Safe and sound, just like I said. Now, give me Randall, and we can go our separate ways. You can't let her walk away. We're all homeless because of her. Gabby, it wasn't her fault. That's enough. Now be quiet. Michonne, please. I just want my brother. Let's be done with this. Deal? He's all yours. Well, you seem awfully eager. Let me see his face first. Then we'll trade and be done with this mess. Randall isn't worth all this shit. Gabby, listen to After me. After everything they've done, you're still giving them more chances. 
We deserve retribution. Don't do this! Stop! No! No! <laughs> Berto! Everyone put your guns uh, down. I knew we couldn't trust them. Don't! Stand down! Please, don't hurt him. If you're not gonna do anything, we have to. That's not your call. Please. We have to even things up somehow. I can make this red. <laughs> Gabby! <laughs> Fuck! I'll give you that one, all right? We're even. Just let me see my brother. Take that bag off him. I want to see his face. Let me get a good look. What did you do to him? Answer me! Now! He killed Sam's father, an innocent man. He deserved worse. Just hand him over. Here we go.
gotta hold the door with something. I thought you weren't gonna make it for a minute. They stopped firing! They're surrounding the house! We have to get out of here! Where are the boys? Upstairs! Alex! James! Hurry up! Fuck! Get down! Tell me what you want. Michelle, it's Dominic. What's Where the hell are you? Go pack your things, okay? We have to go. Where's mommy? We tried to wait. We're, we're, we're heading to Dominic. Dad! She'll be fine. Come on. No, she'll come look for us. We have to be here. Michelle, if you're still... Just stay safe, okay? They need you. I did look for you. I came back. I promise. It was just too late.
This isn't goodbye. I'll see you again. When? I don't know. Soon. Say goodbye, girls. Your mother has to leave. Please, Mama. Stay here. With us. She can't. Just let her go. Dominic, please. Give us a minute. Come on, Alex! What are you doing? <coughs> no. Girls, enough. Let her leave if that's what she wants. Michelle! No, no, no. Don't go. Colette. She can't stay. We can't stay here! It's too late. Your mother already made up her mind. Please understand. It's not that I want to leave. I don't. I want to stay with you. Michelle! Sorry. Give me your hand. I got you. <gasps> Sadiq's gonna take a boat down to what's left of Monroe. Salvage what we can. We can drop you off in Oceanside or maybe one of the other communities up north. It's good people. Thanks. And thank you for everything. 
I don't know if we would have made it out of there without you. You found my brothers. You took care of Norma. We owe you a lot. You're welcome. It'll be harder out there, without Berto. Might lean on you a bit more. It's not gonna be the same without him. Yeah, I'm gonna miss him too. I know this has been hard on you, in more ways than one. When we got separated, I heard you calling for your daughters. What happened in there? I tried to find you, but I couldn't. I had to get everyone out and... I could just hear you screaming. I saw my daughters. I got to talk to them. That, that's not possible, right? For them to be there. I know. Maybe you'd better start thinking about, you know, what if this doesn't go away? Maybe it won't. But this time, when I saw them, I was able to walk away. I couldn't keep living in that moment with them anymore. I think it's time to stop running. Go back to your group, the people you left. Your family. Before you can't anymore. If I know anything, it's how goddamn impermanent things are these days. Before you know it, they'll be gone. You'll have lost your chance. I like being around you guys. It's not goodbye for us. We'll always be around. Come on.